Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Malaga Road to Glory career mode here on FIFA 19. We're in season 2, it's the start of season 2 guys and as you can see I've gone from what you guys in the comments are saying like Trevor has asked me to go for, for, for Timothy Weyer or Timmy Weyer or you know whatever. Um, I went for, a I've just noticed it's got offer question mark, what, what has it got? There we go, six million. Um, I don't know why I had a little question mark there, that was weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've gone for Timmy Weyer, um, uh, putting a six million bid, that's been accepted. Obviously, I haven't sorted out his, his wages or anything yet, like sort of thing. So, um, he's on 22,000 at the moment at PSG. Um, he is probably going to be not straight into the side at all. He's going to be one that's like, you know, in our reserve side play against like the, the weaker sides within the Spanish. We haven't got a Carabao Cup in the Spanish League, unfortunately, because that's where they'll throw him out. We have got a cup competition, the Copa del Rey or the Copa de España, you know, that's what EA yeah, have got it like licensed in as because they haven't got the license. But um Adama, um I get it's got a question mark, is it? I don't know why these little little bug there, like but you have to like go off attributes and, and whatever and okay. 15 million, um, Wolverhampton Wanderers accepted that deal and um, considering his value is 13 and a half, I think that's a pretty good deal to be honest. He's obviously on a lot more money but whether he'll want to um, come down in that, coming from the Premier League to the Spanish, I don't know, probably one around about the same what I thought. But he is Spanish anyway, we've seen him, already uh, looked at him like, you know, um, the end of last season. Um, and Undai, we know all about, again, there we go, 14 and a half. Tried to get him on loan, I thought, well, I could just loan him, couldn't I, rather than buy him. I mean, with him being 29, I thought maybe I could just go, we had him on loan anyway last season. Maybe I'll go in for a look, but they weren't, I think because I've got him up to an 80 rate and they were probably wanting to like trying to keep him, but they were happy to accept a 14 and a half million deal for him. I still think that's fairly good considering his value is 12 million. Um, and he did a really good job for us. And I know like he's going to start dropping off, you know, when he gets to 30 which is a shame but if I can get another season out of him at least it's one season I can get out of him and then we can look next summer um, at his replacement that's you know that's what I was like you know thinking along that lines um, I was I went for Wilmar Barrios as being the main CDM and then Undai being the kind of back you know those two switching between depending on how, how well they were getting on as you can see, where it says negotiation status, stalled. Yes, they walked away saying that they wanted to have a think about it. Um, that's the bid that I put in at 19. They were they were wanting a ridiculous amount of money for him. Um, that's what I was the final bid I put in at 19,650. And they want to go away. So they'll probably come back with exactly the same. I think it was like 26 million or something like that they wanted for him. We have got the money, but um, he's... I, I don't know. I mean, is there better options out there? I don't know. If they come back with 19, I think I'm, oh, which they won't, but what, hmm, I don't know with that one. Um, I'm a bit sort of stumped on, on whether to like go with him or to maybe go with possibly, where is he? Uh, go with this guy, Sander Burge. A lot of people have, have said about bringing this guy in because he has got good potential. He's, he's a lot going to be a lot cheaper um, and then keep on die. As the main CDM, and then have Sander Burge. I'm kind of talking myself out of things, aren't I? I, I, I? This is the thing when you do a video, isn't it? Rather than doing a stream, it's like I don't get the, the initial feedback from you guys. Um, yeah. What I might do is, depending on whatever they come back with, if they come back with 20, say 20, where is it? Go back to him. If they come back, say 21 million they're happy with something like that then I'll stick with Barrios if not I'll actually walk away which then and then it'll be like a seven day before I can go back in again um, and then I'll put it up to you guys do you think I should go for Barrios or do I go for Sander Burge that's what I think I might do or Frankie de Jong because <laughs> I'm waiting for his scout to come back on him yeah yeah yeah, that's what we'll do. Frankie de Jong, <laughs> Sander Burge, um, or Barrios. Um, that's all dependent on what figure they come back with. If they come back with 21 million, then I'll accept it. Um, anything higher than 21 million, then I'll put it up to you guys. How's that? That's fair enough. Um, another player that I'm, I've also added to the list is this guy, um, Ada Militao. 
Militeo, Militeo, I think he'll be. Um, this was recommended to me from uh, one of the Facebook groups. I'm like in a, in, a, in a FIFA career mode Facebook group and someone said, go for this guy. He's really good at centre back and you've got the option you can also play him at right back as well, but he's a really good centre back. So I've got the scouts out at the moment, seeing what he's like. I mean, he has got a release clause for 19, um, point eight, but I don't know what his value is going to come back. So um, I was just thinking of maybe possibly bringing him in with our sort of like, you know, um, defenders maybe maybe need maybe a little bit changing. I mean, we have got Diacarbian, which I did uh, say to you guys that um, at the end of like last video, like that I've managed to get him. So he's arrived, obviously, along with like Tilisca Herrera, they've uh, arrived and along with our new like young striker as well, which I will just take you to, yeah, Fatoli, this guy here, um, who we got in. Uh, I just think he's gonna. I think he's gonna develop into to something pretty cool. Uh, I really do. Just looking at what he is. I mean, he's got 82 finishing already, um, and he's only 23. Um, so, and he can play in the cam if I really need to, but I don't really want to play in there. That's not why I brought him in. Um, we have got um, our Ander Herrera and Talisca, but as you can see, they're out um, on international. I think it's the Copa de America, you know, the like, um, their version, like the, Euro the South American um, sort of like um, um, version of like the Euros kind of thing. I think, like, I don't know if America in that. I think America might be in that as well, and Mexico and stuff, you know, that sort of like, you know, those, I think that's why they're, well, that's why um, One Piece is out at the moment. But I have got him on the on the transfer list. Um, I have put him on the transfer list. And as you can see, we have got quite a lot of players now because we've got a load of them come back from, from loans and stuff like that. Um, but I have put majority of those places, like players like uh, Tigwadi, yeah, okay, he's on the transfer list because I can't say his name. Um, Keko's on the transfer list. Um, Villeneuve, Villeneuve is on the transfer list. We've managed to bring a couple more youngsters up, but really maybe possibly to sell them rather than keep them. I'll just see how things like progress with regards to that. Today's episode is 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 probably going to only have one game in it. I'm just going through like the the preseason, kind of like giving you. Know, a, lay, a low down on, on what's happening. The the one game if we get to the final of the of the, the preseason tournament, which I'll um where is that? Uh, it just shows you this is this is the one that's it's got the most money that's available to us. I think it's like nine million or something like that. Yeah, but we've got um it's being played actually in England. It's actually the, the way it's being played. But we've got Sassuolo, um, Ajax, and Kievo Verona in our group. And here's all the English teams. Yeah, all in the same group. It's a bit weird the way it's drawn out like that. But you'd think one of the English teams would have been in our group as well. But yeah, Leicester, Brighton, and Southampton, along with Monaco. So Monaco's probably out of these teams and possibly Ajax. But I'd say Monaco would be like the hardest team in, in, in you know out of these eight teams or whatever that we've maybe got to worry about like sort of thing but i'm going to just sim through um pre-season it's not that big a deal to be honest i haven't really got my new players to be able to to, to see what they're like anyway because they're away on the copa de america thing you know that's going on in south america and stuff so i can't even get to like see what they're like anyway if we get to the final i'll play that if not i'll get to play the first game um, in La Liga 1, yes, La Liga is where we are, guys. Um, oh, in fact, I will just show you... No, oh, that's not what I wanted to show you. Uh, fixtures, where are we? No, um, calendar. Our first game in is up against Getafe. That's who our first game is. And then we are up against Real Betis. Then it's the end of the transfer window and then we get into September and it gets, it gets a bit more tastier, doesn't it, with Atletico... And only two days later, we got Real Madrid. Thanks, EA. Yeah, two-day break. You know, you couldn't even push, like, you know, that even to that Thursday, could you? Just the Thursday would have helped, you know. Um, and then and, and then push that Sevilla game to that Monday. But they might get moved. What? What is that? Oh, I see. I've not seen that before. That's obviously cup game. I was thinking, what's that big football down there? Um, not, I'm not clicked. On, I've not clicked on this and not seen the late results before. So that's obviously where the cup game's going to go in. These might possibly get moved, depending on their Champions League draw games. I'm hoping that's what'll happen. But look at all this space. Just so frustrating that 
they put the two two of the like big three right next to each other i'll show you the objectives of the board youth development um sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than average overall rating of players in, currently in the same position not yeah i should be able to possibly do that and then grow one youth player by at least 10. again i should probably be able to do that as well um because i've got some pretty good youth players in there so i should be possibly be able to do that uh, we'll just see how that goes brand exposure that's kind of out of my um i've got no control over that really i suppose if you're necessarily signing someone amazing but I, i'm not going to be able to do that so it's just basically game 44 uh, mil from shirt sales the financial side reduce the player wages by 8,800 a week uh, if you want us to be successful you can't be like asking for stuff like that can you um, within three seasons increase the club um, worth by increase the club worth of your club what? increase the club worth of your club shouldn't it be of our club okay um, Shouldn't it, shouldn't it, aren't we part of the same? Okay, but anyway, um, by 75%, I'm up 13% after the first season. Yeah, um, but maybe if we can get Europa League, that, that will help towards that, and it definitely will increase the shirt sales anyway, but that's for this season. And domestically, they want us to finish mid-table, so they're not aiming as high as what I am, um, so that's good, um, and they want us to reach the round of 32, which is exactly the same as what it was last time, which is kind of weird because you start in the round of 32, so I don't get that one, why that's even a thing. Um, and then Continental, obviously there's nothing because we're not in Europe, so that's fine. So I'm not too bothered by the objectives, um, to be honest. Um, what we got here? Oh, these are my scouts. I've sent me scouts out um, for, for new network things. PSV, shown interest. Oh yeah, I think I've accepted that. Just to check on that. Yes, I've accepted that. So he was one of the players that was out on loan. Um, so I've accepted that. We had a couple of bids in um, for Hudson Adoy um, from RB Leipzig and Wolfsburg. I've rejected both of those. Has anybody noticed that? You know, with experience, does it ever change on year on, year on? Does it ever go up? I don't know if that ever does, you know, because surely that should go up at some point because they've got experience. Um, uh, the 60 million is still there. Um, oh, no, you don't know about that. Oh, God. I've got 60 million, sorry. Uh, you're probably going like, oh, like your transfer budget. Yeah, 60 million um, is how much we've got to, to spend. Obviously, those players that those bids have gone through will come off that 60 million sort of thing. So, like I say, I've got the money um, and stuff like that. But um, before I forget, let's um, let's go sort out, um, where are they? Let's go sort out their own wages. Sporadic, that's good. I like that. I'm accepting that. That's what we want. Right, you're gonna give us five years. Give us five, three. Let's see if we can deal at four. Oh, no, count we're at four. Come on, let's go for four. Happy with four, okay. Uh, disregard of it. Oh, he wants a recluse. Uh, 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 a recluse. He doesn't, want a rec do he doesn't want to be a recluse, does he? <laughs> Release clause of 21 million. Yeah, um, that's not happening. Uh, I'm willing to pay you more wages than. And, Get rid of the release clause, mate. Okay, we can move past this, don't worry. Uh, here we go. He's wanting us to... We'll go... Do I think 30... 30 is an, incre 30 is an increase, I think. And 200,000. I think that's fair. We'll see. Hopefully you don't walk out. Don't walk out. That's fair. Oh. Damn, I could have gone less. <laughs> there we go. 30,000, 200,000. Welcome to the club, Timmy Weyer. So that one's done. Yeah, don't go on to accept that. It's not quite what my client wanted. Yes. Welcome to the club, Adama. So 140 grand, I'm, I don't think he's going to get. Um, and a sign of bonus. Do I like over 200? No, sod it. No, we're happy with that. We'll accept that. We'll do it. It's done. Yeah, no worries. Right, well, that changes things slightly, doesn't it? Because that means Undyne now becomes our main CDM. So, I mean, Barros, I, coming from South America, he might not want, like, a crucial role. Right, uh, how, how much cash does that leave us with now? 23. 
with 43 wage budget. So, but I've got some players to sell. So I've got quite a few to, to get out the door, like, you know what I mean? So that wage budget isn't too bad. So as you can see, Undy just about the, oh, that's the point, I need to swap out squad numbers, don't I? It's looking a pretty good side now, isn't it? Uh, Squad-wise, um, it's looking it's looking pretty good. We've got Diakabi, obviously, um, in there. He's going to be our long-term replacement for, for David Lomban, who is 31 now, so he's going to start, like, dropping off. So we get on against Ajax. I'll just quickly sim through it. Barrios transfer is unacceptable. Transfer fee, 21 million, 200,000. Oh, okay. We'll have to sign him another time. Right. Because because Frankie de Jong can... He can, oh, he can play centre-back as well. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that might have made up my mind. I can kill two birds with one stone there, can't I? Right. We'll wait for the scout report to come back on because I don't think we've got an idea of what he's on wage-wise now. Wait for the scout support to come back, and I think Frankie de Jong is going to be the guy that we're going to bring in because he can play centre back, and it means that I might not have to say uh, where is he? I might not need to sign this guy, Militao. Right, let's see. Hopefully, we won't get um, an injury this time. I just noticed I've got the young goalkeeper in, and we oh they've got an injury this time. That's all right. One one again. Oh, okay, I was going to play. But I need the money now, don't I? So there is going to be one game, but it's not going to be the final. That'll have to be in next episode, guys. But I need to get through um, this to get me some extra cash because of possible defenders and midfielders that I want to bring in. So what's going to be um, good to see is, like, obviously the likes of Adama Traore, see how he performs, and um, also Dia Carby. I've um, not played with those two yet, so... Yeah, it would be good to see how uh, how they how they get on. So, Old Trafford, bit of a weird stadium considering the English sides involved are Leicester, Brighton, and Southampton. I mean, why would the tournament be played at Old Trafford? That's a you'd think it'd be played um, at a, one of their grounds or you know a London base like Emirates or something. You know, or even like Spurs' new ground, like. Um, whichever they're going to call it but it's surprising that they're getting everyone to travel this far considering I mean obviously we're traveling because we're coming from Spain but the English teams are just even if it was played at like Leicester's ground I mean they'd have an advantage obviously but it's a bit weird right uh, maybe to knock this around a bit here yeah? here is Davis now this is DRB get the shot away he hasn't done a lot, but he's actually got a glimpse of the goal, and when he did, he tucks it away. Come on, Alfonso, turn. It's Diaby again, that's two. Gets a sniff of that goal area, and he's sticking them away. Right, so I just made one change at half-time. Uh, I can make quite a few changes, um, with it being pre-season. Should be the whole squad, but you can only change, or I should say the whole team, but you can only change the seven that it lets you have when it shouldn't do. That's a hell of a strike. And wow, I, I, what, okay. They've had a talking to at half-time. What on earth just happened there? They didn't do anything in the first half. They've come out second half. Uh, Rika didn't get... Oh, not Rika. Armian didn't get the header. It comes in and he just lashes it on the half volley or... Bang. Hits that. Young keeper, I think, was just as surprised like I was. But they're back in it. Okay. Adama's trying to get there, but he doesn't. Armian does. Kusant's now. Can he get this over the top? He can. That's a ball. Can he get this across? He can. And Diaby. Hat trick. Boom. He's going to stir the pot there. So Adama gets an assist. So, yeah. Nah, it's pre season. I can't be too critical, I suppose. But DRB, yeah, he's going to go off now because um, he's done his job. Okay, making a number of changes. Going to bring Timmy Weyer on, see what he's like um, for DRB, who's just, like I say, just got his, his hat-trick. Um, we're also going to bring Balati, you know, our youngster at right-back in place of Armian. Um, 
Alfonso Davis is going to go off and Johnny is going to come on. So there are the three changes. Valero knocks it forward. Johnny now. It's a great ball through to Adama Traore. It's Timmy Wyatt. Oh, he's at the bar and Traore puts it wide. Oh, my God. What? Is, uh, I don't know what his shooting's like, actually, to be honest. But it's not good. It's an open goal, pretty much. And he, that's two he's put wide now. It's deep. Johnny heads it back across. It's fallen to Ndai. Lay this in. Johnny. Rika. And boom. There we go. I think it's Malero that scored. That's number four. Yeah. But there we go. With with through. DRB picks up um, the match ball. Finishing 62. That's why he's missing. Right. He needs to be trained on his shot power. Finishing dribbling. It's just terrible. Right. Um, anyway, guys. Thumbs up. If you don't mind, that'd be awesome. Um, catch you again on Thursday if you're just here for Malaga. If not, catch you again tomorrow for Liverpool. Um, and yes, we are... Well, in case you haven't watched um, Liverpool's yesterday's video, I won't spoil it, but go watch it and then you'll understand what I mean. Um, right, you take it easy guys, I'll catch you next time. It's Dave from Mongo Gaming, signing off. Cheers.